gonna try this steak. chocolate covered strawberry this cake was like really really big and um i didn't like how the, it looked rectangular so i just cut it in squares but i want to get this one just wanted to step in um, as I finish up my Valentine spoil me solo um, like date night I um just finished my dessert I tried to finish all of it y'all but it was just a lot of food like I don't know I, I got full I couldn't even finish my dinner but I tried to save room for dessert because I worked hard on it um but I wanted to do two other things um, one is open my Valentine's Day gift for my mom. Um, I called her and told her I haven't opened it, opened it yet, and that um, I would open it, but I'll let her know about it tomorrow. But I can kind of see it in a little bit, so let me go grab. It. This is the gift. It's already so cute. Pink is my favorite color, um, and I like teddy bears. So um, yeah, let's open it up. I love my mom so much. Um, of course, because she's my mom, but um, every year she gets me something for Valentine's Day. My birthday is February 1st, so she's um, it's kind of like her. Her birthday is Christmas, I mean, her birthday is December 22nd, and then Christmas is a few days away. Then my dad's birthday is February 11th, so she has a lot of birthdays in February and a lot of things going on, but she always gives me a Valentine um, in some way because most Valentine's days I am single, but um, I just know my mom is my Valentine. She's gonna always be my Valentine um, because that's <laughs> that's just the love that I have, but I'm gonna open this up. She's like one of the best loves that I have, so I never, never can do anything for her to stop loving me, so she got me so bear is so soft and cute y'all she got me this bear she usually gives me a bear that has my name on it but this is so cute thank you mama i know she's watching this it's so cute it says i love you to the moon and back this is so cute thank you mama i haven't even finished opening it yet oh now the bear is gonna be having a fit don't be falling out now if you see any mess in the background i'm sorry y'all i got laundry I got just stuff that was on the table. She got me a card. I'm gonna read that last. And she got me a little gift bag. Okay, mama. I'll see how you, what you, how you did it. Um, be mine. Oh, this is fancy. Oh, it must be like a little set. I love cups, so my mom definitely knows me. Oh, thank you, mama. It got some candy in here. I wonder if it's those strawberry candies. I don't know what it. Just, just it's just some regular sweet candy. I'm sure it's red or like some type of strawberry color. Thank you, Mama. I know that you're watching. Oh, she got me some um skincare, y'all. I love like skincare, like serums and stuff. She got me a little some vitamin C serum. Okay, Mom. Thank you. It got niacinamide, hyaluronic acid. It got all my serums that I use. Um, I'm probably gonna put this up so I can have a three, uh, actually a four in one. It's a four way age defense formula because I have to worry about age defense now because I'm 31 now. So um, vitamin C super serum plus vitamin C, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and retinol. So thank you, mama. I'm gonna read my card privately but I am gonna show y'all what it looks like. It has a butterfly on it. A daughter brings happiness to the hearts of all who love her. Thank you, mama. I'm gonna read this privately. 
Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to wrap up this video and it keeps trying to tell me that it's no memory. I'm not gonna say it's the enemy, but hey, um, he ain't got no power over here. So, um, I'm gonna try my best to wrap this up as best I can. So, um, to any young lady, any single person, anybody who is watching this and you know, you're single, especially single Christian, young woman that wants family, that wants things, biological clocks are ticking. I don't know for men, I know it's different, um, but I just wanted to encourage you that, you know, focus on being content in your season. Focus on being content with you. Don't let anyone say it's weird that you are by yourself. Like, you know, don't let anyone pressure you that it's time to have kids. Don't let anyone pressure you to get into relationships. Don't let anyone pressure you or make you feel like you're not supposed to be where you are. Because I promise you, there's a time and a season for everything. And take this time to focus on you, pour into you. Um, go on solo dates, go on solo outings, learn how to be comfortable by yourself. I'm always at home. I'm always doing stuff by myself, but <laughs> that's just natural for me. I'm like, I'd rather be at my house, but I want to be able to be out and about by myself, like go to the movies by myself, travel by myself, um, but just focus on you. And it's not just about traveling, doing the fun stuff, like going to the movies, eating, all this stuff. I mean, like focus on like healing start journaling i've been trying my best to journal i'm doing a seven day journaling with jesus right now with um some other young ladies and that's and i did show y'all that um as well that's what i was doing earlier and um so journal like if you just write down what you're feeling um i have a journal for my future husband like i specifically got that because sometimes my mind is like man i wonder what he's like i wonder what he's gonna be i wonder when god's gonna do this and I put down my non-negotiables. Write your list of non-negotiables. My pastor um, challenged all the young people and just everyone to write down your non-negotiables. So do that. Um, I wrote down my non-negotiables for a man that I want to spend my life with. I also am going to write my non-negotiables for my life. And just when it comes down to things that I will and will not tolerate. Um, write down your non-negotiables. Work on setting boundaries. Work on building yourself up. So, in loving on yourself, so when someone does come into your life, you won't be just tossed around and you can stand on, stand on business, on what you know that you want for yourself and that you deserve as a person. Now, look, I am a person who put in a lot of work into myself so far between me and God, with God, like, I'm not just going to take and settle for anything. If you're not at my level and not trying to come up to my level, then you're most likely not for me. Um, if you're at a, a level of right at my level or going above, then we, we could probably talk because I want to learn. I want to grow. I want to be able to grow. I don't think that, that, that we ever stop growing. So I just want to encourage all the young women, men as well, to just focus on you. Be content. It's okay. And it's okay if you want things. But don't let it go be too much. Don't let it be so overpower you that you forget about you. You shouldn't be depressed because you're not married. You shouldn't be depressed because you're not having kids right now. You shouldn't be depressed when you see kids, people, your classmates or family members having children. You should be happy. And not trying to dismiss anyone's feelings, but... It should not affect you so much emotionally when people are getting the things that you've prayed for. Somebody I uh, watch on YouTube, they made this comment, like if you see your friends getting the blessed around you, you better be happy because that means that God is in your neighborhood. <laughs> so I thought that was really nice. So if you see people around you getting blessed, just know that your blessing is on the way too. And, um, but just be encouraged. I don't wanna try to make this too long. I've been trying to record um this part forever but um just be encouraged just like know that that god sees you he hears you and he understands what you want and he understands what you need and he knows our desires but he doesn't want those desires to get in the way of his of, of the relationship with him so 
make sure you always make God your focus. Um, like I said, journal. Let's do some self-care. Um, get your skin together. Get your hair together. Like, focus on bettering you. Where you're so distracted with you focusing on bettering yourself and making yourself better. That when that person or when those opportunities, when those things come along, you're just like, oh, that didn't take long at all. And you can be in a healthier state and in a, be in a healthier and a better position that you were before where you can handle what God is trying to bring to you. So I just want to say thank y'all for watching. Um, it's a little bit different than my other stuff, but I just wanted to do like a little solo, um, like Valentine's Day um, night. Um, and I don't know how it's gonna come out, but I just hope that y'all enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload a new video. And I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day, well, after Valentine's Day. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.